Kahoot is a great student answering website. Um, it's kind of like Plickers, except instead of the students holding up cards, they actually answer on their devices. And what's great about this is that it can track the students and it gives you a little bit better um, report at the end than Plickers does. Um, you can actually look at the entire quiz and how each student did instead of just looking at one question and how each student answered. Um, another great thing with Kahoot is you can use quizzes that teachers have already made. Um, with Clickers, you have to make your own, but um, with Kahoot, you can make your own or you can use ones and edit ones that are already out there. Okay, um, to get started, you're going to click Get My Free Account, and it's really quick. You just select that you are a teacher and then enter in this information. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to take you to this page, and this is your home page. Um, from here, you can create a new Kahoot, and so you can create a quiz, a discussion, or a survey. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, but in this one, we're going to look at how to get one that's already made and use it and edit it. Okay, so you're going to go to Public Kahoots. And here I'm going to type in um, a topic that I want to quiz my students on. So say that we're reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, I'm going to click search. Okay, and then here I can look and see what the questions are and what types of quiz, it, what kind of quiz it is. Okay, so it also shows you how many questions it has and when it was created. Okay, let's say that I want this one. Okay, I've clicked on it, I've checked it out, and I like it. Um, if I want to just use it like it is, so I look at it and I like all the questions and the pictures are right and the time allotted for each question is right, then what I would do would be click play. Okay, I'm going to go back to what I just clicked on. Okay, so it was this one. If I'm ready just to ask those questions and the students to start answering, I'm going to click play. Okay, and then um, you would launch it and it's going to give a code for the students to go to. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but I want to show you what to do if you decide that you want to change a question. Okay, you're going to click duplicate. So we're not ready to play because we want to change a couple of questions or delete some. We're going to click duplicate and you have to hover your mouse over the title. Okay, and then this is going to pop up and now you're in my cahoots. Okay, I have 14. You probably will have zero if this is your first time starting out. Okay, so I've duplicated it. I'm going to click continue editing. And this is question one. And here is the picture that goes with question one. Okay, you can also put in a video, um, but that's still in beta testing, so they might not have worked out all the bugs for it. But we can go through and look at each question. Okay, so say that um, I don't like this question. Okay, it's just not one that I want to ask. I'm going to delete it. And now I'm down to 10 questions. Okay, if you wanted to, you could also add a question. And you would type in your question, add a picture if you wanted to, and then enter in the correct answers. You can have multiple correct answers if you want. Um, it doesn't just have to be one. Okay, but I don't want to add this question. I just want 10 questions. I'm going to click Save and Continue. And then when it gets here, it's a little review of them. I can move the questions around. I'm going to click, once I have them in the order I want, I'm going to click Save and Continue again. And then at this, I always just click Save and Continue. Okay, and then you click Done. Okay, so I'm ready for the students to play this Kahoot, so I'm going to click Play Now. Now, you have gone to GetKahoot.com. Whenever you click Play Now, the students are actually going to go to Kahoot.it. Okay, and they can do this on a device or a computer or a Chromebook, and this is going to come up. Okay, and it's going to ask them to enter their game pin. You will give them this pin. 
okay? We just clicked uh, play, and so now we're looking at what the teacher is looking at and projecting. The teacher is going to click launch, okay, and it's going to load, and it's telling the students, get your tablet ready now. Okay, it's connecting, and then Kahoot gives you this PIN number. Okay, so the kids go to this Kahoot.it, and then they are going to type in this PIN number. Okay, so now we're going to look at the kids, what the kids see. So the kids see this, they hit enter, and then now they're going to type in their nickname. Okay, you can make them type in their real name or a nickname, um, but whatever they type in, that's how it's, that's what's going to pop up as the, on the Excel sheet at the end for what they got correct and incorrect. So you might want to assign them a nickname if you want it to be anonymous um, or just have them put in their real name. Okay, so after they type in their name, I'm going to click join game. Okay, and this is still what the student's looking at. It says, you're in. Did you see your name appear at the front? Okay, we're going to go back to what's being projected. Okay, this is what the teacher's projecting. So see how I signed in as Bob? It popped up my name up here. So it's going to start populating this list with all the people that sign in. If someone signs in with something inappropriate or a name, they're supposed to use their real name and they don't, you can click on it and it will kick them out of the room and they will have to re-sign in. Okay, so once you have all the people in, you're going to click start now. Okay, now as soon as you click start now, it's going to ask the first question. So you can't be ready to explain directions after you click start now because these are timed questions. Okay, so this first question pops up and this is again what's being projected for the students to see. It says, Grandpa takes a gamble. What does he send Charlie to buy to the store? Okay, here are their answer choices. On the student's device, it does not pop up the question and answer choices, just the color of the multiple choice. Okay, so whenever they decide what they want their answer to be, they select it. Okay, now I got 550 points and I was the first person to answer. Um, the quicker you answer, the more points you get. The most points you can get per question is a thousand. Okay, so this is still what the student see and it says correct. The teacher sees this. Okay, this is what she's projecting for everyone to see and it will show how many people answered each question. Okay, if it's like a graph or something that you want to say it's a math problem and you want to go back and look at it, you can click reshow image. Okay, and if it will reshow the image that it had associated with this question. Okay, I'm going to go to next and then it's going to display the top five scores. Okay, so this is the only person in there, so that's why it's the only one listed. So I'm going to click next. And it's going to ask the next question. Okay, so it's incorrect, so you get zero points. I'm going to go to next. And then it's just going to keep asking the questions, and the students are going to be answering. Okay, the teacher can end the quiz at any time. It's going to show the person who got the most cahoots, the most points, and how many correct and incorrect they got. The teacher can select feedback and results. And this is going to just ask the students, you know, was it fun? Did you learn something? Would you recommend it? And the students can answer. The teacher can go to final results and here they can download the results or open them up in your drive. Okay, so I'm going to download results and it's going to save it as an Excel sheet. When I open that Excel sheet, it's going to have all the students listed over here, the number of correct, incorrect answers and their score and then in green if they got it right and in red if they got it wrong. And then it's also going to give you an overall score for the whole class. Okay, this just gives you a lot better um, results page than clickers does. That's why I like this one. Um, but students do have to have a device. They can work in partners if you wanted them to. Um, but the kids have really liked this. 
and have really gotten into it and become really engaged with it. If you have any questions, please let me know.